What's up, Ladder fam? I hope everything is going well your way. Listen, I am so excited that you decided to tune in to the Ladder newsletter. We are actually doing something different with our devotionals. We are going to be having them live now where you get to just touch base and reflect on what God is doing in your life through scriptures. And we want to definitely add a little bit of leadership content so that you will be able to understand what God is not only doing in your life, but in the life of others so that you can know how to influence and impact them. Today's reading is going to be coming from Romans 12, 4 through 6. And we're going to be looking at the importance of teamwork, the importance of teamwork. So it says in Romans 12, 4 through 6, just as each of us has one body with many members and these members do not have all the same function, So in Christ, we who are many form one body and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us. So I want to talk about the importance of teamwork and how as leaders, it's so important for us to develop teams around us in order to complete what God has placed on the inside of us. I don't know if you are aware, but the thing or the vision or the purpose that God has placed on the inside of you is bigger than you. And it's going to need, and you are going to need other people to help you get from point one to point two or point A to point B so that you can um, not only be able to delegate and operate in your strengths, but empower the people around you so that they may benefit from connecting with you. Teamwork is defined as this. It's the ability to work together towards a common vision. The reason why this is so important is because there is something uncommon that you need to accomplish because it direct individual accomplishments towards corporate objectives and teamwork allows you to fuel people and uh, fuel people and actually get uncommon results. I think this is so important for us to realize, especially when we are trying to get to the next level because everybody needed a team. Jesus had a team of the 12 disciples. Moses, even though he was referred to as the friend of God, the song, I am a friend of God, Moses was referred to the friend of God, but he needed a team in order for him to move the Israelites from Egypt and from out of the hands of Pharaoh. And if we are, and if we are going to be great leaders, we are going to have to understand how to get a team to move towards a common goal. I think this is so important and vital for us to understand is because sometimes we are discouraged from what we do not know. And sometimes we allow that discouragement to not really uh, to push it on other people. But I think that as you move forth towards the direction of what God has for you, you'll begin to realize is that nobody has it all together and nobody has the answer. We just have to be comfortable enough to admit that I don't have all the answers and I'm partnering up with you so that we can be able to come up with solutions together in order to get to that next position in life. This is going to be essential in your leadership skills. This is going to be essential in what God is wanting to do in your life. Because if God created man and then looked at him and said, man, it's not good to be alone. Then in order for you to get to the place that God has called you to be, I ask you to pray for God to send the right people that will develop a great team around you that will give you an environment that you can productively grow in.